Hey everyone, this is Nita with Dog Heaven here. Welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you guys see this episode because this is a really fun episode with my Seth dad. He came up to the property for the very first time, had an overnight with me and the girls, and he dealt with all the dogs. <laughs> he is not naturally a dog person, so it was a little bit of an adjustment, but he handled it amazing. So I can't wait for you to see this uh, episode. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat, and I'll be right back. Today, you're going to see a really cool episode of my stepdad going up to our property for the very first time. And I didn't film this part, but I wanted to let you guys know that I was like so proud of him for how he handled a little situation that happened with Ace. So he was getting ready to, he was trying to move Ace out of the way so that I could pull my car out. And Ace is a pit bull and he likes to be stubborn <laughs> and he was being stubborn he was not moving and of course my stepdad did not know ace very well so ace was a little nervous around him um which happens with all dogs but sometimes with pit bulls it's a little bit uh, uh more because it takes a little bit more to get to know them and then they trust you a little bit more so as he was trying to guide him out of the way ace nipped at him and thankfully my stepdad had a jacket so it didn't get anything and uh you know he was fine but what i love what my stepdad said this is what i love he said don't worry about it it happens that's something that we all have to be aware of with pit bulls and i just was like wow that's such a great answer because i know pit bulls have a bad rap and my feeling around that is that the reason they have a bad rap is because they are naturally very, very, very protective and naturally very um, loyal. So if you're not part of their family and you do something that might not be exactly what they want you to do, they're gonna let you know. And unfortunately, because they're dogs, they have teeth and them trying to tell you that they're not happy is like, you know, biting or nipping or growling or all of that, which is not good for us humans, right? Because we don't do that to each other, but dogs don't understand that. And so they're naturally protective breeds. They're naturally um, those breeds that you have to get to know until they feel like you are part of their pack you kind of need to be careful with certain things that you're gonna do with them. And I wouldn't say every pit bull is like that, but that is why pit bulls tend to get a bad rap. So we give our dogs hammer and meat with their food every night, and it is all grass-fed organic cattle that is raised right here on the ranch. And so they have a great life and they are out to pasture every day. They get to free roam and they're super happy. Ace. Yeah, he's waiting for food. He's sitting down here waiting for food. That's him. Yeah, are you licking your lips? I know, you're hungry. You can't help it. I know. He's kind of impatient when it comes to food. He's very impatient. He's waiting. It also has to do with how people react to it. So my stepdad could have been like, you know, oh my God, like really mad and like fought back or done something else. It would have made it worse. Um, and dogs pick up on that energy as well. And so just remember that the breed has so much to do with how you treat a dog. And before you get a dog, I highly recommend learning about that breed and respecting the breed because 
these are dogs, they are not humans. I think sometimes we want them to be human. We want them to speak our language, but they don't. They speak dog language. <laughs> and because they speak dog language, we need to learn their language. They do not need to learn our language. We need to learn their language, and we need to learn about the breed before we get the dog. And then once we learn about the breed, we can learn certain things to do to make sure that um, we're being the best caretakers for that particular animal. So um, I know you see a lot of things at Dog Heaven and it all looks like, you know, <laughs> rainbows and sunshine, which it is most of the time, but there's also those moments that kind of scare you a little bit. dogs with all different types of temperaments that have behavioral issues otherwise they would not have come to dog heaven so for example with ace he's an amazing dog but because he's a pit bull and because he had a record of nipping at people he was a liability for any other rescue or any other home to take him in and so I'm just so grateful that we get to um, home ace. I'm so grateful that we get to learn about pit bulls through ace. And he is really, he is the love of the pack. He is so like, I guess the way I could describe him is he absolutely, and I mean this in an endearing way, is the baby of the pack. So if he's in his crate, he's gonna whine and whine and whine until he can get out with you. If you're upstairs and he's downstairs, he's gonna whine and whine because he wants you to be downstairs with him. Um, if it's dinner time and he hasn't gotten fed yet, he is going to whine because he wants that food. Um, and he is a love, he is like the heart of our pack and we just love babying Ace because he's our big baby. So I hope you like this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy our weekend with Papa. Well, just looking at the view at the top of our mountain here.